So two things before we start this video. Oh, oh, one, I normally don't uh, mention um, uh, world events on this channel, oh, but Putin's brazen and vile actions against Ukraine he has left me too stunned and dumbfounded for words. Uh, so instead of saying anything verbally, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Is, uh, is, uh, I have donated $20 to the World Central Kitchen, and who uh, are feeding refugees as they come across the Ukrainian border into Poland. And, uh, and uh, if, if you want to donate to, uh, to, uh, to the World Central Kitchen or any other charities that I donate to in order to help the Ukrainian refugees, You'll find links in, uh, to any charity uh, associated with Ukraine in, that I donate to in the description in box below. Oh, oh. Second thing in, is is uh, is I'm sorry. E content has been light as of late. It uh, these days is uh, I have gotten a job. Uh, about the local Dunkin' Donuts, uh, it's, uh, and uh, and uh, I hope to uh, to uh, be able to uh, to uh, get back into the saddle pretty soon. I've been at this job since last August, uh, and uh, it's been really grueling on me. But I think I've got it sus so that I can get back into the saddle. With all that being said, roll the intro. Adventures, Fred here, and welcome to the Flying Dungeon Master, the show that brings RPGs to as many tabletops as humanly possible. Oh, now uh, I have mentioned more than once my personal homebrew world of Trinacia. Mm. Uh, basically, Trinacia is a mishmash of uh, different D&D settings, lore, etc. That I uh, that were available at the time I created it. it, um, it, uh, it uh, however, it's get with the amount of lore and world settings that have uh, come out since uh, I created Trinacia. <coughs> uh, uh, Trinacia is getting a bit too small for all I want to do. So therefore, I've created a much more flexible and and, um, and uh, versatile platform for me and hopefully others to world build upon on basically integrating the world building into the world itself, of which, with, which is something that I call the Makerverse. And on today's video, we are going to be exploring in, in, uh, what the Makerverse is, how it came to be, what inspired it, and how it's going to affect YouTube content on this channel moving forward. So without further preamble, let's dive into it. The inspiration for the Makerverse came from a number of different sources. Uh, a, a, a big one is, is Maker Spaces themselves, which have the tools and talent to teach others how to make things like Things, uh, be it with wood, 3D printing, ing, you name it. Uh, to, and, and the whole concept of, of the Makerverse is that the tools and techniques of world creation become open source. There's, um, there's, there's uh, but more on that later. Er, er, the, um, it also didn't help that I was reading a lot of books about the Maker Movement. And a big one being in, uh, Adam Savage's Every Tool's a Hammer, or which uh, is just an amazing book. Uh, and if you ever get the chance to read it, I highly encourage you to, as Chief Palpatine said, do it. 
The origin of the Makerverse comes at the uh, sundering of the First World, which was depicted in the lore presented in Fizban's Treasury of Dragons. And so there will be a video about this book at a later date. And, uh, it, uh, but, uh, it, uh, but when the First World was torn apart, or a being that would become known as the First Maker, nothing is known about who or what the First Maker was prior to the Sundering, Ing, uh, <coughs> Ing, uh, got a good look, look at the... Uh, tools and techniques that would, um, that would, uh, that were used to create the first world. And with what he saw, he, uh, created, um, uh, a set of tools, tools that could pretty much do the same thing as what was originally used by, uh, by the three dragons that sung the first world into existence, so to speak. He, in order to create the first open source uh, set of of um, of world creation tools, tools, uh, tools, and these became known as the tools of creation. Upon creation of the the tools of creation, <coughs> the first maker gathered eleven other er, individuals whose creativity could not be bound to just one world. Old, and he taught these eleven uh, how to who use the tools and techniques of world creation. Through much trial, error, and iteration uh, uh, over the course of m seven weeks uh, in, uh, in our time, I'm uh, the the well, who would become known as the first twelve world, the twelve world makers, ers would uh, would be able to who create uh, worlds that they could be proud of, uh, and the makerverse became like a universe of its own, own that housed different other worlds that uh, that these uh, world makers created. Uh, the Makerverse became um, a workshop, studio, and gallery for worlds that uh, the others have created. Mm, and since that first uh, learning of how to use the tools, the, the tools of creation mm, have been expanded upon on, on to include a much wider variety of tools and techniques in order to make world creation m more streamlined and accessible. Oh, well, uh, for those of you who want an idea of where uh, I got the idea for the tools of creation, it was this image. Uh, shout out to uh, Gary Smith, uh, who uh, made the uh, this at. Uh, Forge set uh, that you see in this picture. I'll link his uh, his uh, prop creation Facebook uh, 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 page where you can commission him in the uh, in the description box below. Uh, oh, uh, I've I've had a joy talking with him about making stuff, and and he and uh, and I and I will be at some point commissioning this. Something similar to this anvil set. Mm. Right. But moving on, on, uh, on, uh, on, since that first creation, uh, more from the world, from outside the Makerverse, have, have uh, found their way into the Makerverse and learned how to create worlds of their own. And even those who, uh, who began in worlds created in the Makerverse, there's... Uh, is, uh, is, uh, eventually their boundless creativity he eventually led them to find their way into the Makerverse. So essentially, it's a kind of like Hermaeus Mora, where all those who seek knowledge uh, eventually find their way to Hermaeus Mora. Uh, mm, uh, eventually, all those who uh, who have uh, who uh, cannot stop creating things, things 
they eventually find their way into the Makerverse in some way, shape, or form. But with that being the origins of the Makerverse in universe, uh, there's what does the Makerverse mean for the few for my future video content? Well, when it comes to my the uh, the D and D book reviews, news um, news like my upcoming Fizzman's Treasury of Dragons and my heavily procrastinated Tasha's Cauldron of Everything video. Oh, uh, well, let's just say I've discovered uh, that the videos about D&D books are getting rather wordy for my liking. Mm -hmm. And as I try to show off all that the book has to offer. And I don't feel that's a good fit for me. It may work for channels like Nerd Immersion, who, by the way, does a great job uh, uh, at being in, uh, among the first to get uh, new info uh, of, uh, of what's coming in Dungeons & Dragons as it's announced. And, but, as I said, it's not a good fit for me. So what I'm mm, refocusing my D&D books on are what I am most likely to use in my, in my world building and uh, campaigns. Mm. And, uh, but, uh, but uh, with, and, uh, uh, but, uh, that doesn't mean uh, in what I show is the end-all, be-all of what uh, is usable. I, enc I will encourage uh, people to who uh, sound off in the comments uh, what they would most likely use and how. Oh, no, oh. mm. no, but uh, but uh, let's just say uh, also that uh, uh, D and D five E is not by any means what uh, the Makerverse is limited to. Ooh, there are a lot of this. This is also a place where I can create worlds in other RPG systems, i.e. Savage Worlds. There's going to be a video coming out about Savage Worlds relatively soon. I'm still working on the script. Mm. But anyway, that will have to wrap it up for, uh, 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 my, uh, for sharing what I c uh, had the idea for in terms of the Makerverse. Ers, uh, ers, let me know in the comments down below uh, any ideas you have on how I can improve this concept of the Makerverse. Be it uh, material I should look at, um, what sort of tools I should take inspiration for, for the tools of creation besides a, besides a forge and anvil. Mm, and, uh, and when I, uh, I uh, feel comfortable sharing it uh, with everyone, on the Makerverse World Anvil page will be made available all uh, in the description below of future videos. In the meantime, if you're a returning viewer, I thank you for keep coming back to my videos. And if you're new around here, here, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can keep up to date with all my content. If you want to follow me on social media, support the channel, or contact me directly. You can find links to all that and more, as well as there's a link to the to uh, the World Central Kitchen's uh, website if you want to donate to uh, help Ukrainian refugees. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the Trail of Adventure.